Welcome to the Alexander campaign for Davidiet in Pera 1.2.5 and we are still in a similar situation to where we were in the last video the although it looks like some of these armies have decided to move off I think really pushing out and taking down these Kartuli armies has made the opposition back off a little bit giving me a little bit of a breathing space Lydia also started to advance this way but they've now moved back again but we're still losing a bit of cash by I think. I think I can fix that by coming here. We've also now completed our research. I can't remember what it was. Let's have a quick look. Uh, research. We complete natural philosophy. We've now got this one here. So this is actually giving us an option for some extra build slots. But I think really what I'm going to need to do now is just have a look around and see. Yeah, we've got this here. We can take this up. That's going to give us some more public order. But what I'm thinking of from the point of view of technology is how far, well, we've got to go that far to get that. I think this may have to be the route that we're going to have to go along. We've got Stadia there to get to this fortification so that we can actually start improving our overall settlements. I don't think there's anything else. There's nothing there. I mean, that will take me to there. That would give me an in, in and a trader in five turns. But my instinct is to go this way. And that's going to be ten turns. And this would be... I mean, that would give me more food. And plus three food. And that would be ten turns as well. So what's going to be the most important for the next ten turns? I think we're going to go this way. Actually, let's just click it straight through. That's where we're going to be going. I mean, it could be a bad decision, but I think if we can start leveling some of these areas up, I think we can then strengthen the garrisons, which will then make these more resistant to attack. And we might be able to put a little bit of a pressure on armies. We're going to bring Alexander forward a little bit to give him options to strike out against the opposition and he can still replenish I think that's about all we can do this turn I don't think we've got any promotions still a little bit worried about these but as you can see here I can't build anything in the, in the sense of the uh, what we call it I can't build anything in the sense of units I think we will we're going to go with I mean, we're okay for food. I think I'm more inclined to go for grain pits for cash. Uh, let's see what we've got on the top here. A war horse minus two food. I think I'm kind of inclined to go that way. And that's going to consume food. That's going to give me growth per turn. I, I really like that. And that's also going to give me unit replenishment. So I think we'll go with that as well. So I'm just going to go for an end turn. Okay, rampant piracy, hunted, great subversion, disruption, child is born, some, got some children born, got motivated population in Macedonia. <laughs> now there is a development here, Lydia have brought up a general, and there's part of me says, come here. You, Alexander, these can get, can't just quite get into that area there. We've got some armies hanging around here. Disruption attempt. Okay. I'll make sure this army is still looking good. I mean, we've got three Persian armies hanging around, but they don't seem to want to do anything just at the moment. I'm kind of half hoping that we could get in and wreck at this army. How can I be of assistance? Um, I'm just going to clear that path. What I want to do is see if I can tempt. Actually, I'm just going to bring Alexander over here. What I want to do is try and tempt out these two Lydian armies. See if they were actually. 
let's just get here this this look really threatening threatening see if they, they will come at us on this river crossing and I don't think there's anything else we can do that's being built hello Acephorus so we're just gonna go for an intern Okay, got a raid. Right, it looks like the Lydians here have half gone for their bum. A little bit worried about the fact we've got these armies here At your command. right on the edge. If I bring Alexander up to here, that will use up a lot of his movement points. Take down that Persian army. And the trouble is this attack would be expensive because these have got 11, 20. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is, I think Alexander's going to have to come back to here again. So that um, I don't think there's anything else we can do. And we're still holding up here. Level four turns and we should get a little bit more cash. Right, I'm just gonna go for an intern. Got un unassigned skills. Oh. Um we were keep pushing that up. And Diplomatic bonus, banditry, empire, cultural conversion. I think we'll go that way. Haven't checked my family trees for a little while. How are we doing politically? These guys are falling in this family, so we're going to have to get these out doing some missions. We can go to Epirus. Yeah, complete. You want to get married? Okay, you get married. That should that should bring them up to twenty five. Actually, that should keep everyone a little bit happy just for the short term. I'm just going to go for an intern. Okay, subversion, raid, raid, rebellion. Yes, thank you. Political intrigue, consequence should increase research and civil technology tree. Thank you. That should speed up that process. Now, Lydia's pulled an army away, but Treading softly. Ready for orders. what we're going to do is bring Alexander Advance. around to here. Ready Leave for these for the orders. moment. Why is Alexander... Oh. Army is foraging for supplies, thank you. Okay, this is... Probably because these people have been raiding so much. Okay. Well, we're going to give it a go. We're going to see if we can get into here in the next turn. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Oops, got some one. Skills. How can I serve the people? And, and we're going to drop zeal against enemy agents. Um, that's not going to be much use. And we're going to go with more, some more empire maintenance. Okay. Um, crush the riot. Subversion. Okay, so we've now got the first level of research. We're now moving on. This is open. I really want to go for Pergamon. We're gonna go for it. We take this settlement. Ninety-two percent. Yep. And 
we're actually going to occupy this. Because what I want is the ability to get this threat going. And certainly going to turn that. We're going to turn that into food. We've got an immediate garrison of 16 here because we've got a tier 3 settlement. Um, we've got these idiots building up here. We've got this army here. Um, you can only move to there. This army back here now. And we've got Alexander. Oh, we've got that damage on that artillery. I hate the auto resolve. I knew I should have fought it. So we've now got three control of three provincial capitals which will give me reasonable garrisons once they're stable anything can i build anything here stovai you're building up there we can take that up that's going to give me more public order i think you can we'll spend some money on that in Macedonia. In fact, I think what we're going to do is bring you into here and you can patrol here. Ready for further orders. What's actually causing the problems here? Taxes. Yeah, because I, I drop my taxes, I'm going to lose money. I've got a food shortage, but that's due to yeah. So what we're going to do is just untax. Okay. <laughs> okay. But we're we're two turns off. I think we can afford. Well, let me just. Um. Gonna give me the food, but we're gonna lose 273. So we're just gonna have to just gonna have to live with the losses for our two turns. Thank you, game. But we should get some money from this, and we should get some money and food from this in six turns. So we're just gonna right. We've got these guys have got promotion. Um, chance of avoiding that would give me more public order. I think we give you that, and I think we go with we've got here plus one food. I think that might help if I now tax this. That gets me back there. Kind of inclined to get rid of this trash. And you can just auto resolve this. And we're certainly going to ransom them for the cash. Commander, call this a garrison. So we're just going to go for main turn. Subversion again, raid. Another child is born, increase in rank. Plus five loyalty for five turns. How far can you move? You're fortified. Now, the question is do I take. What I would like to do is to swap this army, move this army down to here. If he, you're close, so how big if I move this army out to about here March. and you Hogan, swift and silent a shadow among shadows now you can move in against Alexander but Alexander's nearly back up to strength these are building what I want is for this army to come down to defend Pergamon and then get Alexander up to here so he can come out and smack armies that come this way we've still got 5,000 to spend kind of part of me wants to hang on to 
as much money as possible. Um, I mean, that would... It's going to consume food. I don't want to commit to food. I think we're just going to go for... Okay, we've got unassigned skills. Um, This is where I'll be going for. I think I want to come this route just to squeeze a tiny amount of food out of this. And I think you're gonna. I'm just gonna. Just keep taking down the trash. Again, we're just gonna take the cash. Ready for orders. Get to it, men. Get back into the city. And here we go. Okay. Raiding again, raiding again. Rally cavalry horseman. In the site unrest. Sealed agent. Disruption. I really hate agents right now. The question is, can I do the swap? I'm going to move Alexander outside. He's not going to be able to get in there. Okay, it's not going to work. Alexander. Um, you, you're you going to have to go back into there. And Alexander, you're going to have to smack this Persian army. There, here we go. They got a little bit of cav. And we're gonna have to fight this to minimize casualties. Okay, nice and dry start deployment. Right, we've actually got a bit of a, a bowl here, which is gonna be a little bit awkward to fight on, but at the same time, we can use this to our advantage. So, what we're gonna do is Let's pull this back here. We have the, the normal front line here, but we're going to actually occupy the, the crest of the hill here. And we'll put the artillery behind. I think we're going to have hoplites on this side for once. And we're going to have the heavy horse up here. And I think have these on this side archers. with the archers just there. Slingers, Slingers out on that side. And ready and have Slingers, you out just covering that side. You support. Just in case the cav comes round. And what we're going to have is you in the centre with Alexander. And we've got a nice valley of death here. Yep. Yeah, we're just going to see if we can find them. <laughs> Go on, boys. You want to come up the valley of death? Because what we could do is just inch these forward a smidge. There we are. guess that they're going to try and come round onto this flank, so. Yeah, they're going to try and come in yeah, slingers this way. Start to bring these over this side. 
then. Archers as well. And it's Bring the shield bearers over this side as well. Well, use you to cover that side. Get that heavy spear infantry. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to sucker us, so. center yeah you hit their light missile cav Alexander ready for one of our units has used all its ammunition you got here Alexander in. Yours to command. Operators, break the lines. Ready for battle. Stand. Our general is under attack. Yours to command. Operators, break the lines. Fire. Pike infantry. You're holding. Alexander pull out. We'll kill them all. Right, well, they're concentrating here, so. Cavalry that way. Oh, field artillery. Focus on that general unit. Axeman in. Alexander, pull away that way. You onto those. You onto those. You push on. You hit those. Alexander. Actually, no. Got onto those. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right, they're breaking. Don't get too close, pull away. You advance down the hill. Hey, idiots. Alexander. We start Alexander into these. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Slingers. Slingers, focus fire on those. Keep hitting their general. You. Units, wait, pull back, pull back. Yeah. You hit those. The enemy 
general is dead. Okay, that should trigger a collapse. Draw the you over there. Way charge onto them. Okay. Alexander, after that medium infantry. Um, gonna continue for a little while. Just rough up these a little bit. Hey, cut it out. Who's firing? Alexander, I want you to kill these a bit. So I don't want to kill them all. I just want to reduce them down to virtually... Okay, that's enough. Hit battle. End battle. We lost 163. We killed 2,558. And I think this army is completely wrecked. They've got, they should have at least one or possibly two units that will survive. And um, what we got here? Yeah, we'll take the 1800. Alexander. And the game is just going to move Alexander. Actually, Alexander's got the movement range. It's this army that doesn't have the movement range. So we've dealt another blow to these lot. Um, not interested in this settlement because it means I'd have to defend against a navy. But my next target would be here so that we can get an enclave. This could defend this flank and then eventually this will close this flank and then join my these two areas together. Okay, here we go through again. Uh -oh. Food. Yeah, you're going to consume food. Just going to go for another end turn. Put some more skills. At your command. And we've got Alexander's going to be maxed out at this rate. Um, percent zeal. Authority. Well, I think I certainly want that. And. Naples battle rhythm. Yep, I think we'll go with that. And oh, wow, we got another one as well. We keep piling it in. Our agent here. Uh, actually, you into the into that army. You're going to give twelve percent movement range. That could be the difference. We'll stick with civil develop rebellion imminent rights. Can you still can't quite reach? Uh, right, they've moved away. Alexander can get there. You can get within defensive range of Pokemon. You, Alexander, can get there. We hunger for battle. And Commander. You can't get quite any further closer. We've got a population service. Macedonia, yes, we'll take that. And what do you want here? 
think we'll go with the subterranean aqueduct for the public order and the stability. You're close enough to support and defend that. Alexander's now in this settlement here. We've got two Persian armies knocking around. So we're just going to go for an end turn and see what happens. Okay, increase in rank hero. Subversion, raid, rebellion, missing supplies. We've got food shortage again. Probably because we've got all these idiot armies around. You drop into Pergamon. We've got some cash. I untax that. That means we're losing 32. Now, I've got a dilemma here. We've got this army, this army, this army, and we've got Commander. Alexander. And what we've got to do now is effectively damage these three armies in a series of battles. But this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. And I'll pull you. Keep you operate. Actually, no. You. That is beyond even my You move up this way. And we got a whole load of Sudaram Lydian armies here. You, I want out over here. And you can deploy. You keep an eye on who's sneaking up on us there. I've got my agent here. What do you wish of me? We got. Another rebellion there, and we got three armies here. I think I've got enough time to fight one battle. We're going to come out against one, and of course we're going to go for a, a night attack. So we got an army here, and of course we're going to fight this on the battlefield. start deployment this is a very familiar battle map starting to lose count on how many times we've actually fought on this battle map but I'm just going to and what we're going to do is get this as wide as possible I'm going to put the artillery literally in there as well we're going to have, we're going to, what we're going to do is form a battle group Mind you, they've got Cav, so we have to be a little bit careful. And, and then what we're going to have is a, a group out here that will work with those. And, oops. Slingers. Slingers. I want you on this side working with Alexander and we're going to have you on this side working with the cab and then we're going to pick up this whole front line and move forward and I'm just going to Right, here comes their ubiquitous light cavalry. At speed. Just, no, just wait. Companion cavalry. Right, we've already right, we've got here. You hit that very heavy shot cav. You Alexander come up here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Companion cavalry. We'll kill them all. 
One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right. Companion cavalry. Our general is under attack. Stringers! Pull back. You push that way. You, you pull back. You deal with those. You got here. Stop chasing those. Come back this way. You. Fall onto the backs of those. Down to charge. Fingers in there. Missile infantry. Stringers. Hey, Alexander. You shift the focus onto those. Alexander. General, come into there. You get into those. You focus far onto those. You start to turn this flank. Sadians in there. You break through into there. What we got over here. You hit those. Slingers, focus fire on those. Chase off there. Ah. You. They're getting around the back of us here. Into here. Got the same problems we had last time. Alexander in. We're going to hit them with everything here for the kitchen sink. You keep your ammunition for that general. Actually, you. That's my calf. Alexander. Right, let's get. Companion cavalry. Riders, advance. Missile infantry. Missile infantry. You over here. General. Riders at the devil. Again, same as last time. I don't really want to. Destroy this. Right, you get over here and chase those. Pikes into there. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Salians chase those. Improved second wind. God, I've got so many different options here. Battle rhythm. I think that will just top the. You step down, you're gonna be killing my in troops. Right, that's just spear infantry. Right. We 
you over there. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Stop coming in there. Okay. Alexander. Make sure those get chased off. You three form a battle line. Archers that way. You come over there. You come over here. You pull back. What are you doing in the front line? Inspire. Uh, end battle. I think we've wrecked this army enough to make it retreat. A few more casualties than I was hoping for. But I think we've wrecked this army. And I think we'll just kill the captives. That is impossible. Right, so we've now pushed these armies away. This one's got a lot of cav and it's in the open. This one is predominantly infantry. <laughs> I think this is where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to think about which one of these two armies I would go for. My instinct is probably this one because it's we would have total cab superiority compared to this one. And although, yeah, they've got like lots of cab, which would be a bit of a problem in an open battle. So maybe we'll take this down. But what I need to do is make sure that I can get Alexander back into here at the end of the cycle so that one would probably be the better one because technically if I take that one down because he's going to be supported it would push these away as well and I say we're looking good over here now and actually while I'm thinking about that we're just going to that's going to give me some extra garrison want this up as big as possible we're losing cash again <laughs> isn't that a surprise but this is where I'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting and until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.